you know, just for as an all stars as last year, centre forward, and it might suit him now to play a sort of free roll around the middle. John O'Keefe knocks it back for Torek Ma. That's your Callum's into challenge. Very quick hands by Torek Ma. Takes a fairly hefty frontal hit. So that's going to be a free for Tipperary. And there, well, there were two, but they're not just one Tipperary man on the deck. Torek Ma is the one that has actually recovered, but John O'Keefe is still down injured off camera. Yeah, well, that's a free that's blown immediately by referees now. Uh, you, you can't tackle the player directly in the chest and uh, parting mark. Under severe pressure, no need for Liam Ryan to, to give away that free. All he had to do was run with him and, and hassle him, and parting was looking for some outlet there, and um, Tip will be delighted with that free now because it takes the pressure off, and Brendan Cummins will launch just right into the edge of the square. And John O'Keefe uh, in his fourth championship match today, started against Cork, taken off against Clare at half-time, just 22 years of age. And of course, uh, Fitzgibbon Cup uh, player with Limerick IT. So he would come across uh, Waterford manager Davy Fitz. Well, that is student there. The free going to be taken by Brendan Cummins. Gives it everything. You can see why he's a former Puck Father champion. Comes down, fires John O'Brien. Brilliant hands by him. Loose ball, picked up by Shane Durkin. It's there again. Mad scramble. Durkin is in there. So too is Paul Shute. It's now Corkman that lays it back. Far is uh, John McCaffrey. Goes for distance. Coming across to gather this is uh, Connor O'Mahony. Under severe pressure from Ryan O'Dwyer. Puts it back in again around the house. Danger again for a doubler. Lara Corbett. Easy style. Gary Maguire is happy enough to concede a 65 and that's uh, the first 65 for Tipperary. Yeah, very good ball into Lark Corver there. Lark, a little bit casual, I think, as he struck the ball and I'm not sure whether it was going wide or not, but Gary Maguire felt he had to he had to stop it and um, knocked it out for a 65, which gives uh, Owen Kelly a chance to stick the ball over the bar for Tip. Owen Kelly in his 53rd championship appearance for his county. Six All-Stars. He scored 21 goals, 342 points in his career so far for the Tipperary Seniors. That's going into today's game. You can add on two more points to that. Young Hurler of the Year, 10 years ago. Looking good. Three points for him. It's a good start for Tipperary to the second half. Level at half time. They now find themselves two points to the good. But you will recall Tipperary also had a great start to the first half. Gary Maguire continues to aim every puck out towards Liam Rush. Here comes John McCaffrey. Didn't quite connect properly. Ball is wide. That is Dublin's fifth wide of the match. Few opportunities being wasted by the Blues. Brendan Cummins hits it a little bit too powerful. Niall Corkin coming across here, backing with Owen Kelly. Kelly claims that he was being held. Appeals to the referee, says no. Rhino De Wire challenged by Conor Mahoney. The Dublin regained the possession. Liam Rush pumps the ball into the corner. Alan McCrabb was aiming for it, but coming across instead is Paul Curran. Under pressure again, Michael Cahill gives it plenty of air. Joey Boland pulled in the air by Garold Ryan. Coming through the centre, it's Brendan Maher. Will he signal his arrival back in Croke Park with a point? The umpire says, not on this occasion. Ball is wide. But just like the first half, Dublin have to maintain their composure. They cannot concede soft scores and soft goals if they're going to produce the shock of the year. Gary Maguire is put out. Got it superbly by Conor O'Mahony. Former All-Star centre half back. Goes for distance again. Here comes Lara. Brilliant save by Gary Maguire at his near post. Corbett is deadly around goal. He just needs a, just a little wisp of a ball and it's in the back of the net. And Maguire did really well here. Second 65 for Tipperary. Great catch there in the middle of the field. Well, Lark Corver with a chance. Very tight angle, Marty. You know, you have to hit those high if you want to get past. Uh, you know, a good keeper will always cling to the post, and Maguire did very, very well 
that's a second very good save save once from Seamus Callan and twice from uh, and, and again from from Mark Corbett but um, you know you can see the inexperience of Peter Kelly at fullback most fullbacks or cornerbacks they would have held uh, Larry Corbett but when that ball is coming in just to just to um, obstruct the middle of his run but he's letting him run free the whole time Gary Maguire doing well between the posts, organising his defence. As All Ireland winning captain 2010 takes the 65. Here is Own Calais. And here's another point. Four points for the Mullina Home Man. Three, one for eight, two 65s, and one from play. Three points between the teams again, and a wonderful feeling by Liam Rush. Feature of the match, Shane Durkin manages to get it out for as Johnny McCaffrey in a little bit of space. He'll drop this in, aiming at Paul Ryan, but Paddy Stapleton has good hands as well. Under pressure from Ryan of the Wire. Nipping in is Dotsie. Dotsie sends a ball across. There's a chance here of a shot of goal, and sent over the bar. Morris O'Brien. Puts his name on the score sheet. He replaced Conor McCormick at half time and already he's made an impact. Puck out comes down towards Brendan Maher. Liam Rush is back there defending. Up goes Garod Ryan. McCaffrey. Unfortunately, ball couldn't be controlled by Alan McCrabb. Sideline ball for Tiferary. That point by Morris O'Brien, by the way, was their first score since the 25th minute of the first half. In Dublin. Under a little bit of pressure here. Now Corbett is out around midfield. Shane Durkin tried to get as far as uh, Joey Bowling, but Durkin takes responsibility second time round. Gets by the initial challenge, lays it off to McCrath. Good hands, takes Paddy Stapleton. And Paddy Stapleton takes him, depending on your perspective. And that's a free end. Paddy seems to have a touch of a headache as a result of that particular clash with McGrab, but there's going to be a free in for Dublin outside the 20 metre line. And Stapleton is requiring a little bit of time out. He's saying he's grand, but uh, Carl well, McAllister is insisting that he gets attention. Yeah, well, once there's any nick of blood, uh, 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 you have to leave the field, Marty. That's the rule, and um, uh, he'll have to be replaced by this free. He's been taken out by Paul Ryan. Six times he scored in the first half. Some of them so memorable, particularly the two from play. This is his fourth from a free. He now has managed seven points, four frees, 165, two from play. Tipperary introduced Thomas Stapleton, by the way, from Paddy Stapleton. No relation. Liam Rush is outstanding under the high ball. Brendan Maher is looking for a free, won't let the ball go. And look at the sheer determination of Dublin. McCrabb clenched the fist. Brendan Maher is saying to the referee, I should have gotten a free, but look at Liam Rush. He's doing this since about 3.30 this afternoon. Well, he's very, very strong under the ball, Marty. And difficult game for Brendan Maher to come into because the, the pace of the game is very, very high. He hasn't he hasn't played at this level um, for the for the last year or so. And um, you know, Dublin the right tactic just hands out and block the man. And uh, Brendan Maher held on too long for it. As you saw there, uh, Paddy Stapleton is back in a corner back. Thomas Stapleton makes way for him. This will be a huge going on, Marty. Right, this is all about you know 80 80 meters. That kind of way, 70 meters, and um, he's a very very good free taker. Very difficult. This is his most difficult today, but to be a great score to get to level things up. This is going all the way, level for the sixth time in Croke Park, despite Tipperary's great start to the second period. Now this is what caused the free. Was Brendan Maher fouled? Was he looking for a free? What is the correct decision? Well, uh, I mean, if you stand to go and hold out your hands, Marty, right, the, uh, the, you know, the advantage is with yourself. Peter uh, Kelly. Martin released the ball to the free for double. Peter Kelly under the high ball did well. Runs on. Cow. 
lively corner back from Perlis. Great catch by Noel McGrath on the turn. Is that going over? Yes, it is. Failed to score in the first half. He's got two in the second. And Tipperary put their noses in front just a little bit. Well, you we know how the, 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 their forward six that they're finishing the All-Ireland final or that, that started the All-Ireland final last year, and I think they have a bit of a better balance, and you can see Norman McGrath coming more into the game. Gary Maguire doing what Brendan Cummins has been doing all afternoon, giving a short to ball out. Ryan O'Dwyer come in for a hefty challenge on John O'Keefe. And that's going to be free for Tipperary, but the referee is looking for the linesman. McAllister seems to need a little bit of a, a bit of nose uh, bleeding as well. So Cahal McAllister from uh, Ahada, native of Middleton, married Anne-Marie and moved to Ahada about 12 years ago. He's one of the youngest referees actually in the country, only 35. He's been refereeing for the last 16 years. This is his biggest game. Worrying times for Declan Ryan. Now, who would Brian Cody like? Another crack at Tipperary. Martin Fogarty, his selector, is right beside him. And they're wondering and pondering who will they be meeting on the first Sunday in September, on the 4th of September, 2011. There's a smile as Cody acknowledges some comment being passed. Paul Ryan. The decision has been reversed, and the point is taken. Nine points for Paul Ryan and the sides level for the seventh time. Well, Tip are finding it very difficult to shake um, Dublin off, and if Dublin can keep on playing at this intensity, but that'll be very difficult because they're putting fierce pressure on the forwards. The work they required to keep this game up might, might lax in the last 10 minutes, and Tip might open up a little bit at that stage. John O'Brien, back for his forward mark. He can score from this distance, and that is over the bar. of the Tipperary under 21 team that won the All Ireland last year. All star full back 0 9. It is Torig Mar. That's a good response from Tip Marty. He just went to level and then go up the point up again. Ball is aimed again at Liam Rush. He has to work for Comes far as Liam Ryan, who has the vision to lay it off. Far as the captain. That's a great block down by Mar. Wonderful horror this lap. He's hooked by McCaffrey, who equally is a classy hurler. Look at that for Dublin intensely, chasing after Bonham Here's Shane McGrath, blocked one way, doesn't get his clearance in, comes down to Noel McGrath, takes the shoulder from McCrath, lays it off by his own Kelly, drops it in, John O'Brien and Corbett are hovering. Here comes Peter Kelly, he has to be sure, he takes the hit and he gives it long. Inspirational from a fullback that has been under pressure. Equally down at the other end, Paul Curran. And look at that for intensity from the All-Ireland champions. It's a battle in Crook Park that will be talked about no matter who wins this. Curran did well, beating Odewire to the high ball.